Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with something bright and beautiful, I hope. I'm going back to the old days. Um, I'm going to set up a background for a pour that I have in mind, so I'm going to use up all my lovely bright colours that I have here. Um, so this is orange. They're all my global impasto paints. This one's orange and it's, I always add a good dollop of yellow in my orange to make it even brighter. So have something in mind for it. So I hope this works as you do. I'm going to go red, which is the cool red. Start over here. So it's just doing the squiggles all through. There's the style that's easy for beginners and non artists. You can definitely do this, so you don't feel I can't possibly do that because you can. Okie doke. This is orange, uh, yellow. Gosh, I'm going duality. Do Ali. I'll go around the edges with this one because this, this is the one that I've got most of. So, been painting the last couple of days with such really bright, vibrant colours. So, maybe next week it might go into the earthy colours. So, these are kind of autumn colours, I think. We're going into autumn in Australia for sure. So, this is called Viridian Green. This one particular um, paint is a Montmartre paint and not global. So this one is Montmartre, but I like this Viridian Green. So I'm putting that in. Oh, look at those colors. Wowzers, trousers, gorgeous. And then I'm going to go this green light, so it's just a light green colour. Start down this end. I know it looks like a lot of paint, but remember, well, if you know what I'm doing, acrylic pouring, it's mostly pouring medium and maybe only one third paint and two thirds pouring medium, which is made quite cheaply, I make, out of clear glue and water. So... Um, it's not all acrylic paint you're putting on, it's mostly pouring medium to make it flow, flow art. Radio. I need something darker in there to give it a pop, so I'm going to add, actually I might want to swipe in that colour, but I think, yeah no, uh, I think I'll add white. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just give it a squiggle everywhere. And then I might actually swipe in a darker colour. Because I've got, as I said, I've got something in mind. So this is all for a background. Definitely, probably put a little bit of my purple. So I'll make it pop. Really want it to pop your socks off when it's dry. Something really nice and bright. We all need something bright and uplifting in these dark, dreary days. Nothing good on the news, much. Rightio, so all you do now is just gently tilt all of your paint, slowly, very slowly. Less chance of getting all your paints muddied if you do it nice and slow. They just roll over the top of each other covering all the bits that I didn't put paint on not that there's many of those but you can roll it over your edges so you've got nice colorful edges of your canvas so this is a nice slow peaceful part for me as well as spreading paint I like doing that so just slowly taking your colors everywhere just tilting your paint should I say everywhere Just always try and keep in mind to recenter your paints. 
so you've not got all the paints at one particular end. So that's what I'm doing here. I'll try and finish this one end off. So just nice and slow, don't get panicked. If you haven't done this before or you, you it's a slow, do the process nice and slow. If you, the paints that drip off, you think you know, it's a lot of waste, you can absolutely scrape them up with your paint scraper and put them in a container and use them as a base coat for another pour. So there is nothing wasted if you want to do that. You can also um, use those paints if the paint is falling onto an acrylic mat or a silicone mat, you let them dry and you can use the paint skins as either cutting them out for a collage, another art collage or jewellery. Put them in cabochons. So I'm I don't do it myself. I have done it a couple of times, I think, on video, but I don't normally. Rightio. I have got here a... My dog's been naughty. Um, it is a purple, and it's mixed with Australian Floetrol. I was going to go from the top down, but I prefer to swipe from the middle. Uh, because you haven't got to come so far down your canvas then. So here we go. This is a, just a soft plastic file divider found in any office works stores or stationery. Oh, wow. That purple is the bomb. It's beautiful. Oh, I have to bring you down to see these absolutely gorgeous gem-like cells it's created. All oh, those delicious colours under there. Absolutely delicious. So let's give this a turn right away round. Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Rightio another bit of paint through there so I'll just pre-make this up you don't have to there's no silicone in my paints or anything like that so then you haven't got the trouble of having to try and get silicon off your dried work if you want to um, varnish it or resin it because varnish and resin will just um, not go nicely with silicone Oh, look at those gems pop up. That is pretty incredible. That's absolutely stunning. I know my dog is probably going to make anybody that's got a dog in the house bark because I can hear him. Rightio, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'll whiz over with my heat wand helps bring up cells and bursts any air bubbles. Rightio, that is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to bring you down. Oh my goodness, look, looky, looky at those absolutely gorgeous gems, cells. You couldn't, oh, I mean, you couldn't do this by hand, could you? You couldn't. It would take hours and hours and hours, days and days to create this look by just doing it by hand painting and not pouring. The top row, for, for whatever reason, it hasn't got so many cells. Um, it does down towards the center, but that's okay. It doesn't have to. It's got so much going on in here. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, and those colors are just really, really beautiful. Can't fault that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful to take photos of this for screensavers, 
it would be absolutely wonderful fabric if anybody knows any fabric printers this would be so cool and um, really good for uh, phone covers and oh, all sorts of materials for anything but anyway I am going to let this little beauty dry now completely and then I'm going to go on the next stage so bye for now and I'll be back soon as you can see I did a few balloon kisses in the center and I'm going to leave this piece for a couple of weeks before I do what I have planned for it next so as you see it now it has got the gorgeous cells and it's got the kisses down the center but I have in mind for it a stencil in the near future so keep an eye out for that one I hope you enjoyed this one please take care until tomorrow bye for now